helps the fleet of rescuers who jumped into quick action to save passengers and crew from the icy hudson river just moments after impact i'm telling you it was like a battalion of small boats converged all around the plane and we're joined live now by new york waterway captain mohammed ghouta u s. coast guard officer petty officer ian kennedy and yanis krums the ferry passenger who took the iconic scene that so many of us are are talking about this morning gentlemen thank you all very much mr. ghouta when i was watching from the balcony and i saw the ferries just making a beeline were you the were you coming over from the J new jersey side when did you see the plane go down uh... actually when i came to the boat and i, I saw the airplane just landed on the water mm -hmm. a huge splash and i was like oh my god let's untie the boat very quick, me and my crew, we went straight to the sense, and they would just open the emergency exit doors, and people coming out to the wings, we were just trying to calm them down, told them, you know, we're here to help you, no, nobody in the water, and we started from there. But I understand you actually saw somebody in the water as you were as you were getting to the Yeah, the they, they, they were pretty scared. I actually rescued one lady from the water. She, you know, she slipped from the wing, and she started drifting with the current. Mm -hmm. And uh, I saw her. I start aiming towards her, pick her up from by the rescue ladder, and one of the divers jump from the helicopter and swam over to her, and he grabbed her. You know, went there. One of my deck and you know, she, her hand was freezing. Feet was freezing. She couldn't speak up or say anything. So. And uh, he helped her get yeah, out. Yeah, I give a, I give a credit to my deck hands that day, you know, uh, especially Jose Torres and Greg Pages. They had you a know. great crew. Yeah, they had to go down on the water, left in the lady over their shoulder, and climb up the ladder, and help her. You know, had to give our jackets to the passengers. You know, keep them warm and yeah. just did what we had to do. What you what you had to do, and you did it magnificently. And uh, Petty Officer Kennedy, uh, when the Coast Guard arrived, I mean, they have big, big vessels. The ferries are, are rather large. You all were able to maneuver a little bit better in, in your crafts? Correct, yeah. And, and what did you see and what did you do? Uh, when I first approached, I uh, saw lots of debris, and I heard over the radio before we even got there that there were 70 people in the water. So when I saw the debris and life jackets that weren't being worn, I thought people were in the water. So we quickly slowed down, and when we realized it was just debris, we uh, approached the airplane, and. The ferries and FDNY, NYPD, everyone worked so well as a team. We, the organization, you would think that we all did training together. And uh, the ferries quickly backed away out of the area. We put our boats. I approached the uh, right side of the plane, picked up two ladies from that wing, and then went to the left side. And my, uh, one of my partners, Officer Rankin, <clears throat> was approaching the uh, left wing. And um, I put my bow of my vessel on the wing and uh, was able to pick up five more passengers from that spot there. It, it was like you said, it was it was such a team effort by everyone that was there. Giannis, you're you're here from Florida. You're a businessman from Florida. You're on on the ferry. Uh, what was it like with the other ferry passengers when you when you approached the plane? We were, we were in a little shock. We didn't know what happened, but once we approached it we started uh, pulling people out and just uh, trying to be as a, work as a team. Everyone involved just it was incredible uh, being a team, a big team. And you know, the, we were pulling people out, getting them jackets, and uh, trying to get uh, help them any way we could. And uh, we've heard that relative calm. We know that inside the plane, at, at one point, of course, you know, everyone's trying to get out. But by the time there was, they were just, they were standing on the wing. They were just simply standing there on the wing, ready to to be be rescued. Were you expecting to find a, uh, something different by the time you got there to the plane? I was. Yes, I thought. I didn't think people, I didn't think the plane would still be in the, in the river. I thought it would have sunk already. People just in the water, a lot of panic. But it was surprisingly calm. The people weren't panicking at all. We approached the uh, airplane and it went smoothly. It was, time was fast and it was, you know, it was a great ending to a terrible day. Yes, it was. It could have been much worse. And, and Giannis, you even had time to to take a take a picture. What were you thinking? Well, I was on the phone just uh, right when someone said there's a plane in the in the Hudson, and I looked up, and sure enough, and I took a quick snapshot, and then I, I forgot about it. <laughs> but I was on uh, Twitter, so I posted it online, and it just it exploded on the internet. And people thought it couldn't be real mm -hmm. because it, it was that—I mean, that kind of image that you see. 
you, you can understand. Uh, Mr. Mr. Gouda, uh, you, you're on the, you know, usually it's a very busy waterway, you know, going yeah. back and, and forth, but it was like the, the perfect timing. Yeah, it was the beginning of the rush hour, and a lot of boats was ready to leave the berths, going to the terminals, and uh, just happened at the right time, with every boat and every captain on the job, and duty, and, um, you know, with that, yeah, just, uh, you know, our biggest goal was how to evacuate these people of the airplane as fast as we can and like um, we expected the worst we expected that airplane to sink pretty fast so but thankfully it did not thank, it did. yeah thank god if you, you know the, the water was pretty calm and the cat you know the pilot he landed that airplane pretty smooth in the water yeah. and um he did a great job you know he you know if if there were any damage in that airplane that airplane would have went down you that's know, true pretty fast mr gouda Petty Officer Kennedy, Yanis Krums, thank you all very much for, I'm sure none of you got much sleep. I know I didn't, so thank you all <laughs> thank so, you, thank so very you. much. Thank Let's you. go back now to Sam. He's, he's there along the Hudson. Sam?